The Brooks Family YMCA in Charlottesville is less than a year away from welcoming in its first members. Construction is moving along in the $19 million facility in McIntyre Park. That's where we find NBC 29's Matt Tallhelm live tonight to take us inside the new Y. Good evening, Matt. Yeah, Casey, right around this time last year, the Y was in a big fundraising push to raise about $3 million in order to break ground. Well, now take a look behind me. About 95% of the steel structure is up here on this facility in McIntyre Park. And tonight we are taking you inside the hard hat area. Crews are cutting blocks for walls and delivering ventilation duct work for the new Brooks Family YMCA. We're approximately a third of the way through. Board Chairman Kurt Kruger says construction on the 79,000 square foot facility in Charlottesville's McIntyre Park is on time and on budget. We wanted to build a building that would make the citizens of Charlottesville proud. The bottoms of the Y's two pools are poured, one for competition swimming, the other for warm water workouts. I think there are a lot of folks that need physical therapy that can't necessarily do it in a non-pool setting. Y members will come in here at the entrance from the parking lot to the lobby. Above the lobby, there's a full fitness level that will overlook this space. And back here, a full-size track will overlook the gymnasium with two full-size basketball courts. The Y will focus on five big programs when the facility opens its doors. The biggest thing we want is to not only offer great programs, but to make sure they're accessible to all people. Members will have access to those programs on community health, teaching kids to swim, improving academic performance, diabetes prevention, and what the Y calls togetherhood. So we don't want just people to come and get on a treadmill, put their headphones on and leave. We want them to engage while they're there. So we want them to feel part of some, a bigger community. Kruger can now count down the days after 14 years of planning. So in a year, we're going to be open for business, and I hope to see the facility packed. That opening day is planned for June 1st of next year, so mark your calendars for that. Right now there is a capital campaign to raise about $6 million. That will pay down about half of the mortgage on the building here, and it will allow the Y to focus more on the programs that will fill this new space. All right, exciting stuff. Matt Tallhelm live for us tonight. Thank you, Matt.